Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nachreiner. Wednesday's story is Microsoft and Adobe Patch Day. If you watched yesterday's video, you noticed that yesterday was Patch Day, but I did my video before they posted their updates. Well, today I want to cover those updates. Yesterday, Microsoft posted eight security bulletins. Two of them were critical. These bulletins fixed 45 vulnerabilities in many of their software products. The biggest ones are a critical cumulative Internet Explorer patch, which fixes over 24 vulnerabilities, many of which people people can use in drive-by downloads to exploit code on your user's computers if they visit the wrong site. The other critical one was a Windows Media Player vulnerability. Basically, if a bad guy can get one of your users to view a malicious media file, they can gain control of your computer. On top of that, there's a number of other Windows-related elevation of privilege vulnerabilities, some Office document handling vulnerabilities, and also an Exchange Server cross-site request forgery vulnerability. If an attacker can get one of your users to click a specially crafted link, they may be able to access that user's email and other stuff. Long story short, if you're a Microsoft administrator, you better go and get those updates as soon as possible. Definitely do the critical ones first. By the way, if you're a WatchGuard XTM or Firebox user, our IPS does have signatures for many of the Internet Explorer and Office document vulnerabilities. So be sure to update your IPS over the next few days. Besides that, Adobe also released a big Flash update. If I remember correctly, it fixes 14 vulnerabilities in Flash, again, many of which allow remote code execution. So just like the Internet Explorer vulnerabilities, if a bad guy can entice your user to a malicious site that has maliciously crafted Flash, uh, they can gain control of your user's computer. So you might want to update Flash as well. Hopefully you have Adobe set to auto-update your clients. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.